The Kawasaki KLR650 has been around for over 30 years. Really haven't changed much. The suspension, the frame, the engine is really the same, but they have modernized it with fuel injection. One of the best, most durable engines ever made by Kawasaki. And Kawasaki Heavy Industries, they, they make like ships. They are a massive company with lots of engineering power. And the motorcycle thing is kind of like a sideline thing for them. But if you look around, you'll see they're in it too. And, and seriously into it. Now, this is obsolete compared to some of the new adventure bikes out there. But if you don't care about the best of the greatest performance you just want a simple bike you can't go wrong with the klr 650 and they have them in a few different flavors here um you can get them uh in black and white green a few different colors they do have cruisers too uh kind of like harley clones but uh, maybe maybe uh, a little more modern engineering this is a vulcan vaquero uh this one here this looks very similar i don't think they've changed these in, in a while uh this vulcan 900 kind of like the klr 650 it just flat out works they're affordable and uh, easy, easy to live with. Moving down the row here, we've got the uh, Kawasaki Eliminator. I would say this is competition for the Honda Rebel. Um, it's an entry level sport bike, naked bike. They're 451 cc's, about 6,500 bucks to get you into one of these. This W800 here is a throwback. They used to make a 650 or in a 750 version of it uh, where it's very similar looking to the 1970 model. It has kind of a British flair to it, because that's what they originally copied, but they tried to improve on it. Outstanding classic motorcycle design with the Kawasaki modern engineering. So it looks really cool. It's got all the right pieces, the chrome fenders, the big tank, the flat seat, but it's got modern disc suspension, fuel injection, and everything else. And, and, and they're priced right. You can buy one of these for a 10.4, probably cost you 12.5 out the door with taxes, but cool bike. This is a cool piece. This is the Z900 RS, kind of a, a retro style of bike where if you look at the tank and the seat and the bars and the color codes, kind of looks like a 73 Z900, but it's thoroughly modernized. The only simil similarity is the looks. Make no mistake, this has got uh, upside down, I believe Kayaba or Shawa forks, Rembo disc brakes, mag wheels, um, has a four into one style header, but this is an EPA, um, legal bike so fourteen thousand dollars to get you into one of these it's pretty uh, ain't it it's beautiful this this one here is a uh, 900 also but this is a more of a modern version this one has the uh, olin's shock right out of the box which is pretty remarkable 900 z that's an expensive shock it's probably a two thousand eighteen hundred two thousand dollar shock here's it here's the zh2 this is I believe the fastest production motorcycle made today. These are insanely fast. I don't trust myself to own one of these. That's why I ride a Harley on the street. I think I'd kill myself. Um, I'd take it on the track, but guys, this thing, $21,300. It's a 1,000cc, four-stroke, four-cylinder, double overhead cam, 16-valve, liquid-cooled, supercharged, six-speed. It's an absolute freaking rocket. I'd have to Google it to get the performance specs, but I believe this thing is capable of over, over 200 miles an hour, and I'm sure it's in the nines in the quarter mile if it's not, if you could keep the front end down. Probably the fastest production motorcycle ever made. Uh, amazing. Here, here's the, a more sporty version of the Ninja H2 and like a titanium looking, I don't know if I'd call it titanium. It looks like titanium, the, the finish on it, on the tank. Absolutely gorgeous. Olin's shocks, Brembo disc brakes. I'm not sure whose forks those are, but they're DLC coated. Uh, carbon fiber bearing. What a freaking! It's a, it's called the Ninja H2 Carbon ABS. And it's thirty five thousand six hundred dollars. I believe that makes it not only the highest performing Japanese superbike, but I think it's the most expensive at thirty six thousand dollars and worth every penny. All right. It's got this on the back so you don't fly off the back of the seat. It's an absolute freaking rocket ship. Offer do military discounts. $250 discount for military. I got to respect that. That is cool. They want... A picture, but not a Google photo. If we... uh got to give away some prizes. If you own a Kawasaki... Oh, I'm on my way. Please make your way over to the... I'm going to get my prize. I got Big Black, the KLR here. Appreciate you being a loyal... Kawasaki Check customer. it out. They gave me a brand new All right. Which key ring you? for my KLR. Thank you, sir. Z900. How cool oh, is man. that? That thing's beautiful. Prepare for takeoff if you ride one of these, man. Right. What an Which absolute freaking rocket. They also like uh, make a really cool lineup of jet skis. 
I used to have a stand-up jet ski. They're freaking awesome. Uh, they got a brute force set. Maybe I've had one of these before. It is a V-twin, but it's not like a Harley. The engine on this Brute 470 is like a Ducati. It revs really high, and the thing's a rocket ship. 12 G will get you into one of those. Here's the Z500, the Z650, and this is competition for the Grom right here. It's a Kawasaki's version of the Grom, the Z125. Here's the Z650, very similar to the Z900, like a KZ650. They're also big time into the not only the jet skis, but they do the side by sides. This is a T Rex KRX 1000, 21 grand. Here's a KRX 4, 26 grand. I think you're getting dangerously close to the cost of a new Jeep. You don't want to hang out for this. I need one more. One more Kawasaki. This is a $33,000 side by side. This is like a top 33000 The limited, but it's like a car on the inside. AC. I mean, all it right. is like a car inside, but it'll right. go anywhere. Oh, wow. There's another out. Kawasaki Ridge. It's a $32,000 awesome. machine. That's awesome. They got the semi. Any other Kawasaki owners? It costs the manufacturers. Owners. You got to respect Kawasaki this. Owners. For them to come here, Daytona charged them $30,000 for a spot for one semi. So Kawasaki probably spent, I'm going to guess, seventy, seventy-five thousand dollars $75,000 for this space down here. Uh, and then they've got the staff, they've got 20 people working it. And they got the truck drivers and they got the equipment. Probably cost them a quarter million dollars to do this show. But um, big fan of the Cowie products. I've been riding these all my life. Junior, my son raced them. They make some excellent motorcycles. So stay tuned. If you want to see the Honda booth, I did a whole video on that. I also did the Honda booth, I did the Harley booth. So all the 2024s are on the channel. I'm gonna go check out the Yamaha and Royal Enfield next.